Now then. Looks like we're now at the moment we've been waiting for. If I'm reading the, in the topography correctly, mm -hmm. this ought to take you straight to the center of the ruins. Although the gate we saw at the begin f f through the gate we saw at the beginning. Ooh. That's where we'll find I'm the Pokemon that was in the middle of the others in the mural, right? Yep. Right. After all, we may finally get to meet it. Yep. And I think we all know you're the one to handle that moment. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Of course you get all the fun. You better get some good photos. Have fun. Say hi to the Illumina Pokemon for me. I can see in your eyes that you are ready, Eddie. That's the spirit. All right. Good luck out there. Keep your chin up and your camera ready. Hello, everybody. Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode where we're finally encountering the last Illumina Pokemon before we do a lot of cleanup. But first, we did get some new requests. Some of them I think can only be done at level 2. I'm going to have to double check that. Two Gorlick. Wait, was I supposed to photograph them both together? Or I'm going to have to double check on that one. But we got Houndoom's Breaver. Houndoom always seems to be on guard, keeping its eye on its surroundings. I wonder if it ever gets tired. Just perching here. I threw a fluff fruit earlier and, so and not to came down came down and perch on it. It was so adorable. And mysterious heart. This, this this shape is form oh I bet you already know. See if you can get a photo of this Pokemon when it comes by. We'll do those requests much later but for now let's go oh right. for the moment we are all been waiting for. Let's head to uh, to Arius Island and see the final Illumina Pokemon. It should be at the Illumina spot in the in the Ruins of Remembrance. Let's see who the final Illumina Pokemon is. Looks like that's the source of the reading, but it's very faint. What is that, anyway? Incredible! This reading is off the charts! Final Illumina Pokemon we've been searching for. Go get him. The final Illumina Pokemon, the Illumina of Life. I've Exernius. Yes, the one who created the other Illumina Pokemon. It's been hiding here in these ruins for, for 2,000 years, so let's get a good photo of it. Now you'll see it floating around as a little orb. Uh, to get it out of that form so you can actually take a photo of it, you need to hit it with Illumina Orbs. I believe you need to hit the orb, I think it's like two or three times to get a Cernius out. Thing is, the orb does move around, around at different speeds at different points, so it can be a little hard to get an exact hit. And then, of course, you have to make sure you Illumino Orb is Cernius as well. Which I'm doing a horrible time getting this thing. Once you hit it the first time, it will go faster. Did it not Illumina State? Okay, it's in its Illumina State.
Yeah, you only have like a few moments to try and get a few pictures of it before it starts teleporting around. Also, I don't know if those are supposed to be like real letters. Now, you're gonna see it here, but unfortunately, it's hiding under the water where your Illumina orbs cannot reach. I don't even think your apples can like force it out of the water, I don't think. So, we have to wait until it surfaces again. Oh! Did I actually hit it? Certainly, it's slow down. Look at Sir Ernie's really? beauty. That's the missing piece. The center was a Cernius. I don't know why my camera's not lighting up. You can take a photo of that. Oh, I think I have to come back here the second time to get a photo of it. Yeah, so we'll be back for you, mur Mural. Yeah, and I love this music, by the way, as Asernius is kind of our final boss. Look at this place, it's so gorgeous. Uh, Cerny- I thought I saw the orb for a second. Cernius, where are you? I know that the first time with Cernius you don't get as much interactions with it compared to when you come back here on level 2. As far as I'm aware of, I don't think anything happens in this room at level 1. So you only have, I think, like two opportunities to take a photo of, a, of Exernius. Which is the first room and the, and the second room. Oom um, on level 1. And now we're back in the central chamber. What an amazing encounter. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Yep, the Cernius wasn't illuminated when it did that teleport. Alright, so they're all one star photos. Question is, what would be a good photo? It walking by the mural isn't too bad. Ooh, this front photo I have is not a bad one either. I think I'll submit that. And of course, the game will not let us submit the runes for now. So let's uh, uh, submit Exernius. Alright, All right, let's have a look. Excellent. Wow, Exernius, the Illumina Pokemon of, of, of Arius Island. 
I'm amazed you caught this on camera. Nice work. Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. The final Illumina Pokemon. If not for this photo, I'd probably think that encounter was all dream. Of course, we automatically level up the Illumina spot. Which will mean more photo opportunities for Exernius in the future when we come back here. Look at that! You've hit a new stage in your research! Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. Brief Awakening. You've registered the Pokemon Exernius to your photo decks. By the way, now that we got the Illumina Pokemon info, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Let's see what the professor has to say. I knew it! We were right to believe that Eve there was another Illumina Pokemon. <laughs> the mural was spot on! Mm -hmm. Yes, which raises the question. Did things really happen the way the mural depict them? Maybe Exernius called out to the others for help. So they could make a barrier area or something to stop the meteorite? A barrier big enough to cover the whole Limfall region? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah. That's gotta be what happened! Yeah, yeah that means, means the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Illumina Pokemon too! No. <laughs> but the meteorite came 2,000 years ago! Shouldn't Xerneas or have awakened long before now? That is true, given the Cernius, uh, I believe, uh, awakens every, once every a thousand years. Here's after, I believe, a short nap. I think it stopped the, I think stopping the meteorite probably took, took just about everything it had. So much that it's still tired after a two thousand year nap. Hmm. So. When do you think the, think that mural was made anyway? Wait, what? Also. And who do you think made it? I well. Hmm. 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 Huh. Wait. Why is it that you were able to meet those Illumina Pokemon? guys get it, right? Get what? Of course! <laughs> so obvious! <laughs> it's so simple! Do you really not know, Professor? Hmm. Pokemon can tell when someone really loves them! And they return that love right back! Right? That must be from a study I haven't read yet. We have got to get you out of the lab more often. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the is the ending of new Pokemon Snap. But our journey through Lenfoil is not yet over. Not by a long shot. We still have the caves to do, which, by the way, a, we get to see the various photos we've took along the way, which... I just don't know if the screen's naturally that dark when showing the photos, because I don't remember them being that darked out. But anyway... But get to enjoy our photos, because there's still more to take. We have the cave to clear out. There's, there's the DLC areas to do. Ooh, that we yet to see, and so much more. Not to mention, we've yet to fill out our photo decks with certain Pokemon, such like the Ruins of Remembrance, and of course, Exernius. 
But to give my current thoughts of this game, I absolutely love this game. We've been waiting for a sequel for this game for like 20 years. And after 20 long years, we finally get it. And this is amazing. If you are a fan of the original Pokemon Snap, get this game now. You will enjoy playing it. This game offers tons of hours. Like, my playlist should show that. Like, I was not expecting this uh, playthrough to currently go for about 115 videos. <laughs> and not in a long shot, especially since I decided to do all the requests, S, and get old star photos. So I didn't think it would be this long. Heck, I think it's going to be longer than my Pokemon Sword Let's Play. Hey, was that surprising? I wasn't expecting to be, to be you know, this long and get on, on a playthrough. I would expect maybe... It, I would expect maybe this playthrough will end at about 150 videos. And that's what I was expecting if I ever did a game like Xenoblade Chronicles or something around those lines. Something that I know for a fact would be long. But, I absolutely love this game. This game has so much personality, so much charm. If you are a Pokemon fan, you will love this game. And I hope it gets more free DLC down the line that adds even more areas and more Pokemon for us to take photos of. That that Lumina Milotech photo is gorgeous. Now for some photos of, of, of Matropia. Like this amazing, um, Machamp. I almost forgot the name of the Pokemon. Some, be some blossoms. I also love the credits. And by the way, the photos it shows is completely randomized every time you watch the credits. And I don't know if it chooses the photos completely at random or if it chooses your highest uh, point total. All photos of those areas. But yeah, this game is amazing. Get this game now. If you, if you love the original Pokemon Snap, get this game now. You will enjoy it. That I can, get, I can give you a guaranteed seal of approval. Seeing how far we've gotten by seeing these photos in the credits. That was not a bad ad photo. Chinese localization. Ah, that Triantar photo is pretty good. That Flygon's pretty decent. Can I, can I also add that the... <laughs> He's Jesus! <laughs> can I add that this soundtrack is also really amazing? I love almost every song in this game. Ah, uh, Midnight Lycan Rock fighting, um... Uh, that Midnight How is amazing photo. I love that photo. That Sandshrew was pretty decent. Kangaskong feeding its baby. What an amazing photo. Trapinch bouncing out of the ground. Charizard with all the Charmanders, the most one of the most annoying photos to get. Aerodactyl having a meal. Nick Turner, that's actually a nice sounding name. Luxray showing how badass it is. Talonflame using Braper to get a meal. Love the song. Oh, Torkoal standing tall. How many special thanks have we just seen? I think it was like maybe two or three special thanks so far. Nintendo of America. A uh, Cragnall yelling out in pain. <laughs> Lately thinking about biting Cragnall's tail. A lovely frosty photo. Ooh, are we gonna see the Glaceon photo in this? Please show the Glaceon. Yeah! The amazing photo! Jinx blowing a kiss. Wang Yong Sang Yong, what a name. Adorable Bulpix. Clefairy's in flight. The Mario Club. Back when they used. Gengar with its tongue. Drift bloom, um, um, puffing up. Another special thanks. 
an awesome roar of Steelix. Time for some Ruins of Remembrance photos, which will not be a lot, because we haven't done much in Ruins of Remembrance yet. Wyvern using Supersonic. Natu taking a sleep. An amazing, amazing Houndoom photo. Single Glyph on alert. Elder Goss is floating in the in the air. Salandit really happy. And the and the Lumina Pokemon of life. And of course, us. An amazing photo. Thank you, everyone. But, like I said, it is not over yet. <laughs> this has been one eventful survey, huh? Yep. It sure has. That one took us into every corner of Lenfall. Thank you. None of us would have ever happened... None of it, it would have ever happened without the free of you. I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. We found even more topics to bring to begging to be studied. Bring to be studied. I can't read. Well, I'm sticking around to help. I was hoping you would. And I'm sure your research is just getting started. Speaking of which... Which, weren't you going to explain your new idea, Professor? I remember. Oh, yes, I was. Let me tell you about course scores. They are, si they are a system I have, I have devised to measure how thoroughly you research a course in a single outing. The quality counts here, but so does the quantity. Try to photograph as many Pokemon as possible. If you use the online internet feature, you can see your ranking of your course's scores too, which I won't be able to show on this account. Now, because this Nintendo account is the Nintendo account I don't have online for. And wasn't there one more piece of good news? Yeah. Ah, you, uh, you must mean burst mode. That's a new feature I had the, the professor add to your research cameras. If you turn it on, your camera will take multiple photos in quick succession, with one press of the shutter. Another thing. You could turn it on and off from the settings menu, give it a shot, it can it should come in handy. Whoa. Man and and Professor, you are the most cool P Professor, you are the most you're almost as cool as my mentor! Wait one sec, I'm going out on an expedition! <laughs> now. now, go on, on, and get back to building your personal photo decks. Enjoy! Hey. Okay, so what's the good news you were talking about? Oh, I bet you're itching to know. Huh? You're the one who brought it up. Alright, alright. Okay, fair point. Anyway, I got the professor to let us check out the reef in the evening. Whoa, Whoa nice. Right? I can't wait to see the sunset over the reef. It's going to be breathtaking. Wow. Yeah, that will make for some sweet photos. I call first trip. Hey, no fair. Ah, and now the DLC comes into play. Professor, you look, look really happy. Did something good happen? Oh, oh there you are. Excellent timing. You see, I was re re reminiscing. Re reminiscing? Is that the word reminiscing? The results of our survey so far. And I found new teleportation points. One of them is near the jungle on Balicia Island. The other is on Volcania Island, just beyond the desert. Yay! Awesome! But we haven't, al but haven't we already researched those islands? Right, That's the exciting thing about the research like this. 
you can discover something new every day. I imagine the ecosystem on the same island would be similar to each other, but you never know. Well, oh, we'll be the ones looking into it. That's right, I'm counting on you. That's right. I've heard of one of those places might be a bit nostalgic for me. I think this will turn out to be a really fun expedition. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a ton of photos there, too. Grand research team, we've researched all areas of the lymph ball region. So as you can see, there's so much more now. Ah, oh, we have a new area unlocked because we beat the game. We have the DLC. Not to mention, more research urge opportunities are now unlocked for us. So now we have more research tasks that we can do, which I'll show off in the next episode. Oh, not to mention, some of the areas that we've previously visited are, have now changed. They now have new Pokemon. They now have new Pokemon there. Either Pokemon that weren't there before or outright new Pokemon that we couldn't find until post-game. So, with that said, we have so much to explore. We'll probably start off with the Reef Evening, just to show that off in the next episode. And then we'll probably go around the Lymph Ball region, going to areas that I know that I know that has some change in, uh, in any way, shape, or form. We might go through each area one last time. I'll think about that, but I will show off the areas that I know have some changes, changes that may have that uh, in case some, like for example, some additional Pokemon uh, that couldn't be found there until post game. And like for example, I believe the beach area, I think the night version now has Lapras appearing there as well. Uh, would be, is an example I can give. Not to mention, like I said, there are new Pokemon that couldn't be found until post game. The DLC areas, those we're eventually going to be checking out. We got to finish, finish off the cave, finish the Ruins of Remembrance, get all the star photos for Xerneas. We're going to be here for a while. So, you have plenty more to look forward to, believe me. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment you like, and in the next episode, we'll continue our expeditions and research. See you then.